Good morning, everyone. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I just want to ask everybody, please, today, July 24th, 2014, to stop with the alcohol and stop with the drugs. Usually, I like to start all my videos uh, explaining uh, certain steps on achieving sobriety from drugs and or alcohol, but today I want to start with a video that was posted by a gentleman named Rick, and he lost his daughter through a tragic death due to his estranged wife's alcohol and or drug addiction and abuse. Uh, they were on their way home and she crashed and they were both crushed instantly. So I'm going to play this video and then we will discuss a few things after I address a few people. Here goes. I'm going to tell you something. Life isn't about getting high. kind of speechless right now. If I can help anybody, I want you to listen to me. Things happen in life. You don't go to a doctor for help. You don't go grab that beer. You don't go grab whiskey. You pull up your bootlegs. Stay strong. You talk to God. Only thing that's going to get you into heaven is if you have a personal relationship with God. Going to church every Sunday ain't going to help you. If, if he don't know you, you can't enter his home. That's the bottom line. My little girl was killed from a mother that wanted to get high. Drink, drive, party, have fun. It didn't work out too well. I'm going to show you something that is the end result of your party on Friday nights, Saturday nights, whenever. You want to get drunk? You want to play around? You want to be stupid? This is what happens. This is my precious little girl that was killed in a drunk driving accident. Her mother had been partying for two days. Staying up all night, drinking whiskey, having fun. Everything's great, right? Well, it ain't so great now. My little girl was six years old. She died instantly. Both were crushed to death. She died in Beaumont, Mississippi. Her mother tried to drive home from Gulf Shores, Alabama. <laughs> After her boyfriend had beat her up, she didn't make it back to Bryan, Arkansas. If you're struggling with addiction, if you're struggling with alcohol, I hope this can help you don't let your loved ones look down on you six feet in the ground because you couldn't handle life. Pull your bootlegs up. Grab a hold of life. Make something of it. Make mom and daddy proud. Even if they're not here no more. Make them proud. Fight for something. Stand for something. There's plenty of drunks in this world and you don't need to be one. Well, let me shut this off. It's a very emotional plea, um, and I want to thank you, Rick, for posting that, and I truly am sorry for your loss. Uh, but, Rick, know this. I went to bed last night, laying down, and my cell phone went off, and it was a text from a gentleman in Florida reaching out to me for help with his addiction to drugs and alcohol. Friday night, Saturday night, uh, alcohol, possibly then turning into drugs. But Rick, it was because of your video and your unfortunate loss and him seeing it, because I took your video and I forwarded it on my Facebook and him seeing that, that he reached out to me. So your work is, well, I should say your testimony is working in other people's lives. And for that, I want to thank you.
and I truly am sorry for your loss, Rick, and uh, know this, that uh, due to your tragic loss and your testimony, you are saving other people. So thank you, Rick. So we want to um, really think about that video because this is a gentleman that has lost everything. Everything around him crumbled due to one person's action, and that action was drugs and alcohol. This is the outcome. This could be you. It could be me. But it won't be me. Because I have taken that first step to say, Ralph, I have a problem. And I'm asking and I'm pleading with each and every one of you folks out there is to take that step. Eliminate the drugs and alcohol because there truly, truly is happiness without it. But with it, you will face danger, you will face tragedy, you will face possibly death, if not your own people around you. So I want to address this uh, starting segment uh, for my newfound friend down in Florida who reached out to me due to Rick's testimony. Now I want to tell you Rick, uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to tell you Rick, I want to thank you Rick for that, but I want to tell you keep testi testifying, keep those videos coming Rick because they truly do help other people just keep them coming and as much as you put them on Facebook and YouTube I'd be more than happy to share them because they truly are uh, uh, tools for helping other people to my friend down in Florida I want to congratulate you on reaching out that is a step forward you're reaching out saying hey I have a problem so uh, we're, we're going to start by me, like I told you last night, via text and Facebook, on, on certain steps that we have to take. And the first step is, to my friend in Florida now, is uh, to say I have a problem. So I truly uh, want to congratulate you on saying that you have a problem. I believe what you said to me is that pretty much you do all your partying uh, on Friday nights and Saturday nights. And I, I wrote back to you and I said, this is when I most need to talk to you. And I said, do you know why to you? And you wrote back and you said, why, Ralph? Because if you and I communicate, whether it being by telephone or chatting, you will know the reason that you're communicating with a person totally out of your area, totally away from your state. I'm in New York, you're in Florida. Is because of your addiction. And if you do your party on a Friday and Saturday nights, this is when we need to speak most. Because I'm going to remind you, remember what I said to you, my friend in Florida, I don't sugarcoat. I am here for a purpose, and my purpose is to help. And if you truly want me to help you, you and I are going to communicate during your trying moments, during your happy moments, during any moment. Now, why are we going to communicate like that? I have agreed to take you and 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 uh, as a non AA atmosphere type of sponsor to to help you to guide you uh, because my purpose is is to help everyone because by helping you believe it or not I'm helping me because each and every person that I speak to you about addiction puts that seed into my mind constantly refreshes that seed that I am also addicted I'm addicted to alcohol so it's people like you my friend down in Florida that help me so what we're going to do is we're going to already admit what you have, that you have a problem, and, and, and we discuss the treatment methods. Um, but before I go into all the methods for you and for anyone else, I want to reach out to two other people real quick. The first person being way up north, and you know who you are, and I want to say congratulations on a full, complete week of sobriety. Job well done. You deserve and applaud for that. It's not easy. The first couple of days, the first week, the first month is the most hardest things you have to face and you're doing well. And I want to say thank you for continuously communicating with me. You and I communicate, if not daily, every other day via texting, emails, or whatever methods that we utilize. It is important that we communicate. It is important for me to tell you what needs to be done and it's important for you to tell, tell me what you think needs to be done to help you even more because we work together 
you're helping me with my addiction as much as I'm helping you with your addiction. Now to my friend down in Virginia, I've tried to reach out to you via text, emails, and telephone to no avail. I cannot get a hold of you. When you reached out to me and you told me that you wanted to, to uh, tackle your addiction, uh, we agreed to communicate. Um, so if you're watching this video, please communicate with me. You have my contact information. Speaking of contact information, let me go over my contact information and then we will continue on steps of achieving sobriety and battling addiction. My phone numbers, first one is 631-599-0218. That is my cell phone. It's available 24-7 as my friend in Florida found out last night when he texted me at about 10 o'clock at night. It is available 24-7. Utilize it via telephone or texting. Second phone number, 1-844-393-9355. That is my business uh, phone number. You'll either get me personally on the phone or a voicemail. No one else to worry about. And no one else listens to it. Only me. Email address is ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. The website, which is the most important tool, because on this website I have huge amount of videos, tons of articles, on my comment page, many comments from many people all over the world. It's www.clearviews.info, that's C-L-E-A-R-V-I-E-W-S dot I-N-F-O. Go on there, please. Clearviews.info. And then you can go to Facebook, which my page there is clearviews.info. So my friend in Florida, we spoke briefly last night in reference to the steps taken, and you have asked me to, to help you daily. So we're going to continue doing what we're doing. I'm going to take this video, and I'm going to send it to you, and you're going to seek help through me. Together, we will help each other. So the first step, everyone listening, is to admit it. So if there's anyone out there, it could be you, it could be you. If you're out there and you need help, and you want to truly battle addiction, you want to eliminate that alcohol and drugs, you have to be serious and you have to say, I have a problem. It's not where you wake up in the morning hungover because you had way too much to drink last night and you say, well, I'll never drink again. I want to quit and then start again in two days or three days. No, you have to be serious. You have to say, I've hit rock bottom and I'm done. And that's what I did June 22nd, 2013. I hit rock bottom and I said I was done. And that's what you need to do. Once you have completed that, these are the different methods you can utilize. Method number one, it's the method I will utilize. And that is to keep journals, to seek other people's advice. My journal is my website, www.clearviews.info. That is my journal. Each and every day, I post things, I update, I refresh, I read my comments, people post comments. That is my journal, that is my testimony. And this website is for you to utilize as a tool, as a stepping stone, to reaching sobriety, to eliminating drugs and alcohol, to fight it, to battle it, and to win it. That is method one. Method number two is AA. Millions of people have used AA and millions of people are succeeding with AA. I, for one, felt I had a higher calling. I needed to be more active in my role as a person with an addiction and that's why I utilize method one which is my method. AA does work. You'll go to your first meeting, you'll sit in a classroom type of atmosphere, you'll introduce yourself, you'll tell them your story, uh, people will guide you. As time goes on in AA you will seek a sponsor like my friend in Florida seek me as their sponsor in a non-AA atmosphere. And that's what you'll do. For the people <clears throat> that are really bad off, that need 24-7, 
of supervision to fight and battle addiction, a rehab center is suggested by me. If you go on to www.clearviews.info, go to page 7, click on that, look for your state. So for my friend down in Florida, that would be your state if that's the way you chose to do it, which you didn't. Click on your state and you'll find different rehab centers. Those are three different methods. Now, I say this in every video and it's important that I say this. If you're really bad off, you're watching my video right now and, and you're having issues breathing, you're having visual problems, you're having speech problems, pick up the phone, call 911 immediately. Let the proper people with the proper care help you immediately. Then, when all that is said and done and you're back on a normal level, then you can continue utilizing my methods or rehab center or AA. But if you need help right now, pick up that phone, 911. I want to just let everybody know that my website, by, not, by all means, is not intended to give any medical advice or professional opinions. It is merely a tool to help you in battling each and every day, that 24-hour day program. That's all it is. It is there with many articles by many doctors and psychologists and psychiatrists. Those are the people that are professional. I certainly am not, nor is my website. It is just merely a tool to help you, and I am like a messenger. I relay other people's testimonies, other people's articles straight to you. That's what I do. So I urge each and every one of you, please, let today, July 24th, 2014, be your first day for the rest of your life. Let it be a brand new day, a new beginning. Don't let it get to the point like that video in the beginning of this segment. That poor man is living a life of hurt. He lost his daughter, a six-year-old little girl. And for, to what? To an estranged wife who constantly had to party it up with drugs and alcohol and then decided to drive home. That is the end result. Don't let it become you. Nip it in the bud today. There is life without drugs and alcohol. I can tell you that. I've been sober over a year now. There is a better life. I don't wake up in the morning with hangovers or memory lapses. I don't have to worry about those things. And you don't either. But you need to make that first step. And I'm pleading with you more than ever. Because I saw that video and I don't want anyone else to have to, to live with that. It is such a loss to lose a family member. It is a, a loss to lose yourself save yourself do it for you but if you don't want to do it for you do it for whoever is in your life that you truly love whether it's your wife your husband mother father children grandparents do it for them don't be selfish put that down put down the alcohol put down the drugs do not be selfish do it for them do it for them if you don't want to do it for yourself because they truly deserve to have you in their lives. Don't become one of those statistics of another death. Don't become six feet under like, like Rick said. You don't want to end up six feet under and have your loved ones looking at your gravestone. You don't want that. So I'm pleading with you. Let today, July 24th, 2014 be the first day the rest of your life. Nothing is impossible. Nothing whatsoever is impossible. If you believe it, you can achieve it. I believed it July 22nd, 2013. I still had my doubts that I could do it, but each and every day, step by step, every 24 hours, leading today, from then to today, it has become easier and easier. Let me help you. Text me. Call me, 631-599-0218.
Go to my website, www.clearviews.info. Utilize all these tools that I'm giving you. I'm giving you all the tools possible to, to beat this addiction. But there's one thing I can't do for you. I cannot reach out to you because I don't know where you're located. I know who you are. If you're watching this video, you know my name. It's Ralph Friedrichs. And yes, I am an alcoholic. And yes, I am battling addiction. But yes, I've been sober for over a year. I will continue to be sober for the rest of my life. And with my help, so can you. But you need to reach out to me. Ralph.Friedrichs at Yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at Yahoo.com. Or go to my website, www.clearviews.info. 631-599-0218. These are all methods to reach out, but you need to reach out to me. Nothing's impossible. If you believe it, you can achieve it. You just have to put your mind to it. If you're serious about beating and fighting and continuing to live on without your alcohol addiction or and drug addiction, you need to reach out to me. And if you don't want to reach out to me, reach out to AA. And if it's severe enough, reach out to a rehab center. You have all these different channels, all these avenues to go by, and there are people that want to help you. I want to help you. But you need to reach out to me. I want to tell everybody one other thing really quick, and that is I hope to God that, Rick, you find the strength to continue I am so sorry about your loss and I hope to God that anyone watching my video right now is taking your loss as a learning tool, as a uh, uh, some kind of method for them to seek help for themselves or anyone in their life. And I'm hoping, Rick, that uh, you continue on your mission and you continue to help people as much as I want to help people. Nothing is impossible. Rick, you know that nothing is impossible. And I want everyone out there to believe that nothing is impossible. I bel believe it and you will achieve it. A sober today makes for a better tomorrow. I promise you that. Because my tomorrow since June 22, 2013 has become better and better each and every day. I hope to God that we all wisen up. I hope to God we all admit our shortcomings with addiction and we change nothing is impossible a sober today makes for a clear and better tomorrow have a great day have a great weekend and please stop drinking stop doing drugs but most importantly have a sober weekend take care goodbye